I knew that I needed to be very consistent over all six rounds if I wanted to make it into the semi-final. And um, I'd already competed really well in the synchro, so I knew that I had it in me. It was just a, a matter of going out there and doing it. Um, and I did my first dive, and I nailed my first dive. But I think that always helps, gives you that confidence for the other five rounds. And then I went through all the five rounds, and then I ended up, I nailed my fifth round dive, and then sixth round dive, I got a big score on, but that's my highest average dive front four and a half. It wasn't the best I've ever done it, but it was just enough to see me through into the, uh, into the semi-final in 18th place, so just squeeze through. And then obviously find myself into the semi-final, and uh, from there, I think I just let the home crowd carry me, and uh, that made my, I think that just made my performance even better, made my dives that little bit better. Um, which then squeezed me into the final in ninth, so I was just ecstatic for getting into the final. And um, I think from then what I said about the semis, same in the final, just even more with the, with the, with the crowd. Um, I was feeling a little bit tired actually in the final. Um, it's the first time I ever competed in the final at a world stage. So that was very nerve wracking, but um, to have done it in the Olympic Games was fantastic. With regards to individual, I wanted to go out there and post a good score. That was literally my aim. And um, you know, to go out there and score, to score 420 or there or thereabouts, pretty much what I scored at uh, World Cup. Um, but I went and scored 436, um, which is you know, at the, in that sort of environment at the Olympic Games with all the pressure and you know, that was fantastic. So yeah, so to, to, to then make it into the final and then finish ninth was just so much more than I could have asked for. It's actually quite funny, I was so relaxed that I, I didn't know if I was ready to actually go. I was still on the board and I was thinking, okay, you know, focus, you know, because it's, it's a hard dive and, you know, I, I've, I've been thinking about it, you know, it, before I got on, up on the board. And I literally just got up there and I just couldn't stop smiling. I was literally walking down the board and I was still thinking in my head, smile, I was just like, no, I had to turn it off and just think about my dive. Um, but you know, I, w I was focused, um, although I was so happy to be stood up there in front of everyone supporting, you know, um, everyone supporting me and stuff. So, so yeah, I hit the end of the board and um, I, I just went for it because I knew I knew it had to be good, um, you know, because like my, uh, my previous uh, dive in round four, um, sorry, in round five, um, it was a little bit dropped. It was five and a half, so I really did want to go out in style. Um, I gave myself the opportunity on the start. I got into a really good tuck shape and I was really high up. So um, I guess with the adrenaline, I just came out a little bit earlier to counteract for that and then I nailed the finish. So yeah, to score over 100 points, I think I'm the first person in men's GB diving or three metre to have scored over 100, so I'm honoured to have done that. That has been the key uh, motivator for me. So however low that I feel in training, I know that I've been lower and I've been at the lowest breaking point of thinking like I'm actually going to die, to, to then think, you know, oh come on, um, Olympics, Olympics, it's always in the back of my head. Um, so that has been a massive motivator for me, um, and I couldn't have done any of this, you know, without my family and my, my coach Lindsay. So massive thank you to all of them. Um, but yeah, it has been a key motivator. Every time, you know, I'm, I'm squatting in the gym or I'm still on the board and I'm fed up and you know what it's like in training when, you know, you just can't be bothered any of that and you you know that always does help you look you know olympics that's where you want to be